All right, ladies, we are not talking about Nicole Cosmetics, which is my line of cosmetics, or department stores, or anything that I've talked about in the recent weeks. We're gonna be talking about drugstore makeup and how to do a beautiful spring look with drugstore makeup. I'm actually doing a very neutral, very just kind of laid back. That's why I'm wearing just jeans, a white button down, and this like wheat colored little thin cashmere sweater over my shoulder, because that's kind of the vibe. That's like the look that I want. And I picked out these products specifically for you. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time researching these products. So I'm gonna just start off with prepping my skin. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is the Hydra Nutrition. This is going to be the Honey Eye Gel, has um, Manuka Honey in it. Three balls, I thought this was very interesting, three silver balls at the end. So it's unique. I like different products. This feels very, very smooth on the skin, hydrating, very cooling. So you can put this in the refrigerator also if you want to. So I'm going to just do the other eye and I love how it just soaks into the eye area. It's not heavy, it's not greasy. So this is really great. You know your makeup's not gonna look good if you're not prepping your skin, right? You know I'm very much into prepping the skin, washing the skin, really treating the skin. Ladies, it doesn't matter if you're 45 or you're 95 and you've never done anything to your skin, it's never too late. Pick up that cleanser, pick up that moisturizer, pick up that SPF, it's never too late to start. So again, there's no judgment, especially on my channel, there's no rules. So the rule is, is that you want to be taking care of yourself, that's my only rule if there is rules on my channel, taking care of yourself, honoring yourself, it's celebrating your age. So I'm gonna just use a little bit of the age defying the L'Oreal, the, the Age Perfect Night Balm. It is heavy, it's a night balm, but I just feel like since I do so many videos a day and I wash my face off like constantly, I'm just gonna give myself a little, just a, like the, just a little hydration. So it doesn't feel so tight just a little bit it is a nice beautiful heavy balm if you need that hydration this is a really wonderful product it smells amazing too so i'm just going to put it on just so i feel like my skin's not as tight and then we're going to go right into the eyes before the eyes i almost got ahead of myself i'm going to do a little bit of a skin tint spf 50. this is la roche posay i always show you the one that i get at the drugstore which is the mineral spf 50 serum i love that it's light i can mix it in with my foundation if i want to this is something different this is going to be a broad spectrum spf 50 daily tone correcting primer so i thought wow let me try this as a primer it's tinted let me see what the tint looks like and you know what it's really it is not a tinted like we would think right really dark so this is going to just give us a really beautiful tone this is like a two-in-one ladies it's an spf 50 and also going to even out your tone so if you don't wear any makeup and you just want to wear this it's light enough it's not heavy you get your spf and then you have a nice tone correcting that's going to look beautiful on the skin and give you that really fresh look but you're not wearing makeup now that my tinted tone correcting SPF is on. You can also go into baby skin from Maybelline. This is an instant pore eraser. This is like the Dr. Brandt's pores no more. So this was $9.99, really great because it's gonna blur out where you have your larger pores. I've heard a lot of ladies telling me about their larger pores. This is literally gonna go on like silky, silky smooth and blur out those pores. So if that's your trouble spot on your nose, maybe your chin, put on this instant pore eraser and you're going to really see that you're going to minimize the look of your pores, whether you wear this alone or you wear this underneath your foundation. So we're gonna go into the eyes now and Revlon has been making this beautiful palette. It is called Not Just Nudes. It is a cream. You know how I feel about cream eyeshadows. Beautiful. I can't believe they're still making these. They have a ton of different ones. And it's nice because they're just four little wells. So they have, in this palette, they have two that are kind of sheen and two that are matte. So I couldn't find any eye primer. You know how I feel about my eye and lip primer. So I'm going to be using this just bone color that's going to be kind of just a matte color. I'm just, I'm using this just to kind of neutralize out my eye it's not it's not doing what I wanted to do but it's better than nothing and you cannot use concealer that creases that does not work well with your eyeshadow at all so I'm just gonna just neutralize out as much as I can with this cream shadow 
So I picked up the L'Oreal Paris. This is called Boudoir Charm. It is a four well eyeshadow palette. I more really wanted that beautiful, just nudes, but just enough color. I really was hoping that this would have great payout and it does. It's not a lot, a lot of color. I wish it had a little bit more, but that's always been my challenge at the drugstore with eyeshadows that they don't have a lot of color payout where they you see a lot of color on the eyelids but that is okay we're gonna do we're gonna pop it with something extra special so I can get exactly what I want so I'm gonna go in with the lightest color here and I'm going to just use this all over my eye and you're gonna see it does have a really pretty color if you're looking to just kind of keep it natural keep it nude it definitely has a nice sheen to it so you'll see that I like the sheens I don't like mattes all the time there is a time and place for mattes but not every single day i think that a little bit of lightness a little bit of sheen to the eye whether you are 50 60s, 70s 80s i love that you see that on my fierce aging channel that i show ladies with beautiful sheen on their eyes it livens up their eye it brings life to your skin and to your face now i'm going to go just in with the darkest color here and i'm going to take my kind of contour brush i was just using this um, working with this color so it has a little bit still on the brush and i'm going to go right into the corner so remember there's nothing on my skin here so i don't have to worry about this color dropping or, or falling out i'm going to clean that up with my alme pad but see i want to put the concentration of the color right here ladies right here then i'm going to move the color into that crease so it's almost like a little kind of like a half windshield wiper right there right in here and then if I feel like I want to really blend, make sure there's no product on the brush and you're gonna go in and just work with what you have on the eyelid. So it's gonna be really pretty, really blended. It's seamlessly gonna go into that first color we did. So again, just right here at the base, you're pushing it into that contour area. I see a lot of women put too much product on the brush. They go right for it and then they start swiping. And guess what? The eyeshadow goes everywhere. So that's never gonna give you the look that you want. So you wanna make sure you're strategically placing and pushing the product into the contour area and then saying, oh, you know what? I want a little bit more eyeshadow. Then you pick up some more, but don't go so heavy at the beginning because it's very hard to kind of backtrack and really lighten that up. So this is really looking very beautiful, very nice. Now don't feel like you can't play with your fingers and brushes. You can definitely blend and make sure that everything is going the way you want. I'm gonna take Tattoo from Maybelline. This is a really, really a great color. It's called Color Tattoo. This is in Socialite. Beautiful color I'm gonna use with my fingers. And I'm going to just pop the lids. You know I love doing this with lip gloss and I love doing this with also I kind of like highlights, right? Because I love the way it looks right now, but I really want to take it up a notch. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this beautiful color right in the center of my lid. Do you see how I just kind of brought that to life compared to the left one, right? So I love that. I love how that looks and it just gives me that extra. So you can play around with all different colors. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want. And I'm going to curl my lashes now and I'm going to then put on my eyeliner. I picked up the L'Oreal Lay Liner Signature in brown denim. I wasn't quite sure why it said brown denim, so I wasn't really sure what kind of color. It says it's 24 hour wear, it's not. When I put it on my, my hand and then I take it off, it literally comes off right away. So I wasn't, I, I knew it wasn't 24 hour. I just want to let you know that it's not 24 hour. I think once it's on the eyelid, it's not going to go anywhere because you're not touching it. But if you're looking for waterproof or really a long wear, this I don't think would really hold up. But it's nice and creamy and it does give me the look that I'm wanting to have. So again, close to the eyelashes as you possibly can get where you're in the lash line. I'm not doing the tight line. That's not what this is. My, my application is all about thickening up this lash and making the lash look really, really defined, but not heavy and not, not kind of reshaping your eye. It's very easy to do if you do too much of a liner and you kind of almost can make your eyes look round. I go very, very tight. I taper down towards the nose 
because I don't want to have a big thick line there. I just want this to define my eye. I'll go underneath a little bit. I just go about three quarters like that just so I have some balance, but I'm not making a huge line. I think it's really important to really define the eyes as we age, but not add heaviness. Now, I, I definitely love taking an, any kind of short, dense brush and just kind of smoothing out the line. I love that diffused look, top and bottom. It just really looks very natural. If you made any mistakes, if you have shaky hands, if you're not doing your eyeliner as precisely as you would like, it's a really great option. I call it my little eraser because that's basically what it does. It erases the line so it looks perfect and it looks just smudgy and just really, really beautiful. So now we're gonna go into our lashes. Ladies, I am using a lash primer first. It's a white mascara, basically. And this is from L'Oreal, it's voluminous. It's called Voluminous Base Primer and it is white i just bought this from lancome and i don't see any difference between the formulations the brush is a little bit different but this is it is amazing this is an amazing product that is going to take your lashes to the next level so you put it on like your regular mascara don't be alarmed that you see white it looks a little kind of funky and a little weird but it's going to coat your lashes and it's going to give you powerhouse lashes. This is amazing. So if you have short lashes, it works. If you have long lashes, it works. If you have medium lashes, it works. So this is a really great product because it's getting all these like little lashes I can see that I never see, and it's gonna coat them first, right? And then it's going to give my mascara that extra, extra boost. It's so pretty. Now I'm gonna just let this dry for a second. I'm gonna to talk to you about the two mascaras that I did get. So I have the Lash Up Rising from Joya. This is a nice creamy formulation for a mascara. I do like, it's a tiny bit of a little hourglass wand, not too big. And then I picked up the Neutrogena, Neutrogena Hydra Boost. It's a plumpy mascara. It said that it had, you know, lots of moisture for the lashes, whatever. I find it to be a little bit more of a drier formulation. I wasn't really crazy about that. It looks a little clumpy to me. And this is a black brown, which is really brown. It's, there's no, it's not dark at all. It's just really a brown. So I thought I would do this on the bottom lashes because I'll have something a little bit lighter. And I'll go in with the Joya, the nice creamy mascara formulation. You know that I like it to be creamy. And you're going to be so surprised. Watch what happens when I put on my mascara, it almost gives it like that false lash appearance when you're using a base, the white mascara, because it's giving you all that fringe. So I'm going to the base like I normally do, loading it up, and I'm just adding this to my <laughs> lashes, this black mascara, and it's so pretty. I mean, it's really, if you wanna see lashes, ladies, you're gonna use that primer. You can get a little clumpy, so you gotta be careful with your mascara application. I have a little, so I can see a tiny bit on the other eye, a little bit dense, where I wouldn't want it to be as dense right in that area, but that's all right. You can see how powerful using a primer is for your lashes. I'm gonna take the Neutrogena and I'm gonna just do the bottom lashes. I don't know if this is really a good idea because this wand seems to be a little bit larger in this formula. You can see already, you see this formula? It's dry, so it's already giving clumps to my lashes. So we're gonna just have to bypass this, but this is a good, this is a good visual to know that this hydra boost is not very moisturizing it's actually quite dry that is always a disappointment when you buy something and it does the exact opposite right okay so skin is nice and prepped it's very hydrated i'm going to use a really cool product that i found this is from joya also and it came in this little box called crystal glow and it says glass skin reinvented and i was like yes glass skin is what i want so this has crystallide, it's a peptide. It's a formula that is clinically proven to deliver clearer, smoother, more even skin tone in just six weeks. And I thought, okay, so my skin is actually gonna benefit from using this. 
buildable, blendable, lightweight formula. It delivers a crystal-like translucent effect on your skin. So you can wear this under your foundation. You can use this by itself, and it has a little brush at the end. So much fun because you know I love products that are like, I don't have to do anything else. It's right here. Now, I got the nude beige. You know, I've been all over the map when it comes to colors and I thought, I'm just gonna do it. And then I looked at it and I thought, oh God, it's so dark, but it's not. So look, perfect. I'm gonna just put this on my skin. I want that kind of illuminating before I put on my foundation. So I'm gonna just work this into my skin. This is really nice. If you don't want to, you want to kind of blend out your skin and you don't want to wear any foundation, this is a great product because you're going to get that illuminating, that healthy, that hydrated look to your skin, but also kind of blurring the skin, but also illuminating it. It's such a really neat product. I'm really excited about it. And I think I'm going to put it underneath everything for the next six months and see what, what happens with my skin for spring, summer. So I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I have a True Match eye cream in a concealer from L'Oreal, which is really nice, a two-in-one lady. So it's gonna be a lighter, it's gonna be a lighter formulation. I'm gonna show you, you know what, just so you can see the difference between the two, I'm gonna show you, this is the, this is the L'Oreal. So you can see how it is thinner. It is more of a liquid kind of concealer, lightweight, okay? Now, if you wanted something that was a little bit more buildable and more of a medium coverage, e.l.f. has one that's a hydrating camo concealer, satin finish, has a very big dove foot. So if you like to have a larger applicator, that's nice. I'm gonna just put a little bit here. Don't love how this product smells though. I don't know that I love how that smells for some reason, but I am very, very into what things smell like. So that could be just me. So this is beautiful. I got this in Fair, this one from L'Oreal here. I like that it's hydrating. I like that it's thinner. I think that it's a beautiful, a beautiful look to the skin. This one on here, now they're pretty much the same color. So I don't think I have to, I can think I can get away with using the two different ones, but you can see this is gonna be, I can feel it on the skin too. It's heavier, but it has a satin finish, so it's really pretty. So it's gonna give you a nice, really pretty kind of a finish but if you need a heavier coverage this is the way you would want to go with something that gives you more medium to full coverage that's buildable this is a little bit lighter still giving some coverage but not as much so i'm going to just keep moving and start with my foundation even though these are two different <laughs> different formulations it's fine i just really wanted you to see them so i'm going to go in with the revlon color stay this is a light cover foundation 12 hours of wearability natural finish SPF 35 broad spectrum. I got the color um, creme brulee. Again, taking another risk, but I thought that's okay. I, I'm sure it'll be okay. It, it is a little bit, um, but I like the fact that this is lightweight. It's more of a serum, if you will, because it's in this dropper at the top. So it's lightweight. That's what I really like. Um, if you wanted to have something a little bit more full coverage, I mean, this is full coverage. ELF has a camo CC cream, CC meaning color corrector. This has a broad spectrum SPF 30, also collagen peptides. It's a full coverage natural finish, but it is full coverage. It's too full coverage for me, but if you really like that kind of look of having full coverage, you can do that. I'm going to just buff this on my skin with my buffing brush and it's going to be a little bit lighter. So you're just gonna to have to be a little bit uh, forgiving for me with having a little bit too light, but I do have a bronzer. I will bronze up my skin. And I also have a beautiful gel cream blush that we will work with. But yes, I definitely see that this was a little too light, but that has always been an issue for the past year for me because of COVID not being able to actually try product. You can't try at the drugstore. That's always a challenge, but we are doing the best we can, but it's all about the finish, the coverage, and then figuring out your color. You I would just have to go one step deeper and I can mix the two. So I'm not out any product. I don't have to throw anything away. I can still use it. We need to add some colors, ladies. I mean, I said nude makeup tutorial, but I didn't mean <laughs> to like make myself invisible. So I'm going in with Maybelline's Cheek Heat. This is in Rose Flush. It's very pretty. It's very light on the skin. It's very cooling. So it's a gel. It's a gel. And then it kind of just kind of gives you that 
looks like your skin's coming out from behind your foundation or your CC or BB cream. So it's very pretty. It gives you a little bit of that very hydrated look to the skin, which is very pretty for more mature skin. You want that hydration. You want that kind of reflectiveness to your face, to your cheeks. So I do like this. I think it's, it is very pretty. It's easy to work with. You can put it on your skin. You can work it around. You can say, oh, you know what? It's a little too much, a little too light. I don't think you're gonna have that problem with this because it's a gel. If you want something a little bit more pigmented, you're gonna go with a cream blush in a pot. So I think that it really just kind of starts live. Everything's coming together, even though my foundation's a little bit light. I'm gonna go into a lip pencil here from NYX NYX. This is called Peekaboo Neutral. This is really pretty. And then I'm gonna do a tinted lip balm that it will be really beautiful. Also, I picked up Joya Tinted Lip Balm in La Bamba. It's really pretty, it's very nude, but I'm gonna top it with something that is gonna bring out a little bit more color. Very moisturizing, very, very pretty. There's lots of different colors they had too. So I'm kind of still in this really beautiful family. I'm gonna just do two different products for the brows so I can show you. Tattoo from Maybelline has a really wonderful kind of a felt tip here that's going to give you that brow hair stroke. It is almost grooved, has four little grooves, so it basically is literally making four stripes, like so four hairs with each application that you do. So this is really great for a, someone that doesn't have brows, lateral brow is missing, maybe you need to fill in a little bit. This is gonna be really great. It's gonna give you texture. So I thought that was unique and a little bit different. And then there is one called Brow Extensions from Maybelline, has fibers in it, more of a powder brow. So if you wanna fill in the brow, you wanna get depth behind your hair, this is a great uh, product to use. You can see that little hairs are coming out of the product here. So it's gonna give texture, it's gonna make you look like you have more hair than you do. But it's more of a, I, I would feel, doing brows permanently, I would feel that this is more of a powder brow, meaning you're filling in the brow, you're giving more definition and more texture. You're not, you're not gonna be able to get fine lines with this. This is not that kind of product. So it's brow extensions, kind of giving those fibers, filling in where you need it, but more of a powder brow, more of a fuller brow, not having little hair strokes. So I'm gonna just dust my skin with a little bit of a loose powder. I got the Revlon Candid Photo Ready. It's an anti-pollution setting powder. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of this powder just to kind of, if I feel like I'm a little right in here on my T-zone, a little bit shiny, could be the lights here, but um, this is a nice little package that they have so you don't have the this powder going everywhere. It has a little lid to it. So I like that little application. Then I got Physician's Formula, I got a bronzer. I found one that wasn't sparkly or too orange or too dark or too light. So this is actually a multicolored mosaic bronzer and it's in light bronzer. And I got the e.l.f. brush, the biggest kabuki brush I could find because I really want to just get, if it's mosaic and it has a ton of colors, I wanna have a brush that really gathers it all up together. And then I'm gonna do kind of like the backward C on my face. So I have, I've showed you this technique. So it's kind of like where the sun hits you, just warming up the skin. A problem with this brush and I can, I've noticed is that I, you know, having silver hair, it is a little harder not to get the product in the hair and turn like your hairline yellow or even with foundation when you're working with, um, lighter hair, blonde hair, gray hair, silver hair, white hair. This is what happens. So you just have to be a little careful that you're not doing that. Um, I do see that this has happened with this brush, but that's just a, a little side note there, how to not get your beautiful silver blonde hair a uh, different color. All right, so this is a really fun last step, ladies. So I got this from Physicians Formula. This is a really interesting product. It's called pH Matchmaker. So this will match my pH. It works with my pH of my lips and it turns a certain color pink according to my chemistry. So not only does it do that, it's like such a little smart product, it has a mirror on the side and when I take it out, I can turn on, there's a little, there's a little button at the top that turns on the light and I can see if I was in the dark or I was somewhere where I needed to have a little bit of a light, I can put it on and see 
my my lips right here i'm like oh that's so great so i'm gonna put this over the la bamba the little lip tint that i have on but it will still mix in with um i'll take off the light it'll still mix in with my lip and it gives me a little pink it gives me this really beautiful pink color and so i'm kind of excited about it So I have like a custom color. I want to know if this is a marketing tool though, or a little gimmick, because if you buy this, tag me on Instagram so I can see what color your pink turns out to be, because I'm going to be wearing this without having a lip tint on, and I'm going to see what color it is. This is what the package says though, which is really cool. It says it instantly matches you in 60 seconds. So it reacts to light and your pH of your perfect lip color. So basically it's all different shades of pink that it does. So I thought that was really interesting. Also it says, it says first ever lip gloss with pH power complex transforms into your perfectly personalized hue, which I love personalized. Flor it says fluorescent based dye senses the pH level of your skin and adjusts in 60 seconds. And then it has these interesting powders that, that are light adjusting pigments adapt to your environment. So it, your color looks the same indoors and outdoors. I mean, this is like, this is like a hybrid lip gloss, super, super smart. It's like the smart lip gloss, right? So Physician's Formula, I thought it was really cool. And I thought that just doing something that was like a beautiful nude, easy for everyone makeup tutorial from the drugstore affordable accessible i hope you ladies enjoyed that and until my next video i'll see you later